Devil's Cartel. Do it one more time. Ready, three. All right, here we go. Welcome. And we're still clapping. Welcome to uh, the second ever Safety's Off show. Is this how we're going to sit? Is this the second one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me and, uh me and Travis did the first one. So. Of this episode. We did uh, <clears throat> of this deal. Because we did, remember we did, <clears throat> wow, I can't. Yeah, you drip, drink a little bit. Jeez, you're um, nervous. We did do the podcast. Remember we did like two or three episodes We did do podcast. two or three podcasts. And but uh, you gotta pay monthly to have those on. Somebody won't pay monthly to Too keep cheap. them. There was some good stuff on there. Now that I think about it, good story. Good stories. We'll have to like revisit them. Maybe we'll chop them up. Maybe we take those. Oh, we could take those audio files, chop them up, put them to something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, basically, me and Jacob, and then hopefully Travis, and then whoever else wants to join. We'll get on here and um, I guess just BS. Really just trying to put more stuff out. That's really it. That's really it. And we're bored. It's summer. I mean, it's bas- too hot. It's way too hot to do anything. No football on TV, just basketball. Uh, it, it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough to really find anything. I mean, people fish. I don't fish as it's much anymore. It's so hot. Way too hot. When I tell you it's hot. It's hot. Way too hot. Way too hot in Louisiana. I just realized I didn't change shirts. I was going to change shirts into something a little nicer. And when I say nicer, I had a Kepler Creek shirt. Yes. Uh, but go ahead and plug that. If you go to Kepler Creek, no, I'll just put the link below. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a Teespring thing. Mm-hmm. The shirt I have is not bad. I forgot about the Teespring thing. I've never ordered anything from there. Wow. <laughs> Me and I Travis want to. have. Me and Travis have. I just have. I never got around to it. I paid somebody money on Fiverr to make us a uh, – Fiverr's this website you can have that, like, you can basically hire people to do anything. It's freelancers for yeah, anything. Yeah, freelancers for anything. Anyways, I paid them to make us a design. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty sweet shirt. So, you guys check it out. I'll, I'll drop the link below. But, yeah, we're going to get on here, and we're going to try to think of some segments and whatnot and just try it out and see what sticks. Um, so, the first couple episodes will probably be – Real crappy, all over the place. Real crappy. We do it's have we do have crappy. a a sports podcast that is Th- yes indeed flames thoughts from the cheap seats. It's got some traction. Thoughts from the cheap seats. Check it out on Spotify, Apple Podcast. It's on everything. The other day I downloaded this. It's called like Goodcast or Good Pods or something like that. It's like an app. Yeah, it's an app. It's like social media for podcasting. Anyway, thoughts from the cheap seats was on there. So. Uh, moving on, you know, we have Kepler Creek Instagram. That's probably, or it is what we have our biggest following on, like close to 10,000 people. Uh, if you see me posting all the reels lately, that's because we got monetized. Big money. Ching, ching, big money. ching, 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 ching. And when I say big money, not a lot, but it's more money than what we were getting, which was zero dollars. <laughs> that's true. So that's why I'm posting a ton on there. Uh, I'm gonna slow down because I think I've reached my limit <laughs> on money that I can make in a month. <laughs> so the it, algorithms, sh- the yeah. algorithms. I don't think so. When you see content creators talking about the al- the YouTube algorithm, the the Instagram algorithm, nobody knows what it is. Nobody nobody understands it. They think they do, and just when you think you do, maybe it changes or it's not. Yeah. You're not getting the same traction you used to. But I totally agree. There's a guy. His name's like. No free ads, so you can send us some money after this. But Robert Benjamin, I subscribe to his YouTube channel, and that's what he does. Like every once a week, he creates a TikTok has changed their algorithm, or YouTube has changed it, or Instagram. I mean, it's like a 10 minute video on why you should give him money for him to teach you how to use these social media platforms. Oh, nobody's using this mic. I, I gotta take this down. Uh, but yeah, so I think he just makes it up. That makes sense. And it just creates more content for himself. You know what's weird is technology one, right? But, like, there's all these, like, you always see, and we'll probably get more into it here when we talk about uh, some of the YouTube stuff. Yeah. But talks about, like, shadow banned 
where right where they they knock you down in the algorithm so your stuff doesn't come to the top and that really messes up some of these content creators. They shadow banned Kepler Creek Instagram stories. Really, I don't know if we ever talked about that. They 100 percent did, 100 percent for what? I think so. I mean, I don't think we're big enough to shadow really truly get shadow banned, but I think we got knocked to the bottom. So it was this hunting season and we were getting like we've got 10,000 followers. Yeah. There were times we were almost getting a thousand story views, mm -hmm. like six, seven hundred, you know, which is a lot, which I understand our audience is mostly active during hunting season. That's mm -hmm. when they want to see stuff. And I would post just random things. And um, yeah, all of a sudden it, it went from like hundreds to tens, seven, I'm not just like 70, 80. And I'd maybe get a hundred. Now it's, it's back kind of normal or whatever. We fluctuate a few hundred, but like it's pretty wild. Do we have any, like, dead animals? I think that's what it was. I think they kind of got rid of us because of the animals and because I, – I mean, I try not to just post dead animals. I try to t post about talking. <laughs> talking about, <coughs> excuse me, dead animals. What did what did we have on there? Uh, ducks? Maybe some ducks. We didn't kill a whole lot this year. No. <laughs> but I did – I mean, like, I was chasing – I was chasing a certain buck majority of the year. Yeah. And we posted about that. I mean, like Jay, we, you know, Jay Hoagland, our buddy, you see post about him all the time. He kills bajillion ducks. That's his thing. He loves to go duck hunting. And, uh, you know, Travis had a few good days uh, with his real friends. So that's right. You know, other than that, though. Oh, I know why we got shadow banned. Well, John probably got a shadow banned. Oh, John's a buddy who doesn't like us posting pictures, but it'd be like that. No, I, I don't know what's going on, but. So to talk more about the shadow banning and about social media and whatnot, I was on Instagram the other day, Bobby Guy Films, which he needs to come on here. Bobby, we have tens of viewers, as you'll see below. If you look right below this, it probably says like 11 viewers, but only two is our moms. And then I've got like three Google accounts, but there's five that are organic listeners. But anyways. Organic. Organic, is that the right term? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways, so uh, it's like... Bobby Guy, uh, Flair, everybody, everybody. If you're an outdoorsman or if you watch YouTube, yeah, exactly. I'm not a big, I'm not a huge Flair guy. He kind of, he kind of. If you're like 12, you like Flair. But anyway, huge market for 12, 12 year old on YouTube. I mean, that's what it is. Yes. Yeah. So, anyways, it's like Bobby Guy, Flair, and it's one more guy, and I wish I could think of him. He like was in the service. Lunker. Lunker. And him? Lunker. He's a little different. A little crazy. But anyways, so you got Lunker, Bobby Guy, Flair. They all created it. I was just checking it out. They all created this. Uh, it's called like Uncut Outdoors. And you click the link. And I thought it was just going to be them cussing. Because like Bobby cusses from, from time to time, mm -hmm. which whatever. Uh, he cusses from time to time on his channel. I don't think Flair does. Lunker definitely does kind of randomly. Yeah. But it's more than that. It's because YouTube is cutting out the hunting stuff that they're putting in the algorithms and the shooting and the guns and this and that. Basically, they've created this platform. to. It's going to be the outdoors YouTube, I think is what they want. It's almost like a Patreon meets YouTube. I feel like there there was – they started – somebody started one not too long ago where it was a YouTube, and I think maybe it was like – Basically equivalent of like, remember like Vimeo or something? Or Yeah, well, you know, Flair got kicked off YouTube for a second. Mm. He made a new account and like I mean, his followers are so active that yeah. they subscribe back in like a day. It was freaking mm -hmm. nuts. But, but so there. YouTube's not only just shadow banning it, but they're also getting rid it of it. Yeah, just getting rid of it. Which I don't. I tr okay, so to reiterate on my story, I tried to sign up for Uncut Outdoors, Bobby, Lunker, Flair, subscribe. Uh I, I tried to join, but then, like, it sends you an email for a verification code, and you can't read the email. So, that's that's on y'all. If y'all could fix that, that'd So, be they're great. funding it? Like, are they are they funding it, or are they probably got some investors? I'm guessing. It, but, yeah, I'm sure. They, well, the, they, they've got it. Well, Bobby is the lower scale of all th the three, I assume. And I like him the most. Yeah. Yeah. He's good. I like him. If I watch him, if I watch somebody on YouTube, it's probably obviously going to be us. On very little content that we do, but then it's probably going to be um, crap. What's his name? Outdoor Limits, the Josh guy from North Arkansas, oh, or Kansas. Outdoor Limits. Yeah, he's pretty good. His are just like 
good old boy, got a GoPro hanging out by myself. He's a regular guy. He's a regular guy. He's That's a regular guy. It hunts public. Hunts public. I think money changes people. Because, I, I mean, I, I used to watch Lunkers back in the gap. Mm-hmm. And you could tell he started making too much money. How much money do you think guys like him make? I mean, because well, I guess it's not. You make sponsorship deals and you make everything yeah, else. Yeah, so a lot of the a lot of the nicer stuff they got is probably sponsorship stuff. Yeah, but I, it's interesting that that they're cutting the shooting stuff because if if I, actually when I watch YouTube, I actually watch more gun reviews. Yeah, or you know hunting equipment reviews. Like if I'm looking at getting more decoys, I'll just search on YouTube like Avion X, blah blah. And I mean, they're just decoys. They just sit there, right? Yeah, you know. So it's not like it's not like they're really yeah. using them. But you know, I like these influencers or you know subject matter experts. I guess you could call that's them. us, which is us. That is us. But I like watching other right, yeah, subject matter experts and give their you know opinions on it. And that that's honestly that's probably what I'm gonna base my purchase on. decision yeah. on. That's what I try to tell people is like. That we reach out to or reach out to us. Mm-hmm. You know, they want to uh, send us their product and whatnot. And, like, no, I'll, I'll try to help out anybody. Like, I love doing videos. I love mm-hmm. doing stuff like that and creating the content. But we get some companies and I'm like, what do you – for instance, when we first got, like, our following a little bit, we probably – I don't know. I don't even know how to say this, but we got a few followers. Somebody sent me – Four fly swatters. I remember that. Four <laughs> fly swatters. And they were shaped like guns. I remember that. It was like a, a rifle uh, with a scope, and it was like an AR with a scope. And I I, I was just, like, confused. <laughs> I was just like, what? Like, I don't do have we, enough flies. Yeah. Do, do, we look like, do we look like guys that just have a ton of flies in our house? Don't answer that. I think that's what it was. They looked at us and were like, these dudes probably are out big outside dirty. all day. They're dirty. Yeah. All right, so maybe they, maybe they knew our target audience were other, like, smelly dudes, working dudes. That makes sense. But anyway, so, like, they sent us that, and I'm thinking, I can make some funny stuff with it. In fact, we put it in one of the Kepler Creek Culinary Arts episodes. We had yes. To, at the beginning, that was funny with Trey. But – I remember looking at their YouTube, and they had, like, this elaborate, very elaborate uh, commercial. It was, But they paid. They probably paid thousands. I'm not joking. Look it up. Look it up. What was I remember. Uh, I remember Trey t- Let's look up <laughs> In that video, it was like Fly Swatter 3000. <laughs> yeah, look up Fly Swatter AR-15 and see what you find. On YouTube? On YouTube. And if... I don't think I can show. You can't show other YouTube videos on YouTube videos. Surely not. It's, uh, yeah, it's a uh, fair use. I think. Well, I don't know. Educational. Anyways, yeah, because you can do. Remember, they all. Everybody does those uh, reaction videos. That's right. It's true. So yeah, you can you can look it up. I, I think it was like Flasswater ten twenty. Now that I'm thinking about it, or AR ten twenty. I have no idea. But like, I'll create content. I forgot where I was going with this. It was a great story, but I'll create content with it. But I can't do a dang Flyswatter YouTube review. I can do a Bushnell one. You got the Bushnell one, the Bushnell camera. I can do a hooked cooler. Shout out hooked coolers. Got my third hooked cooler in this week. Holy cow. They're nice. They are really nice. I honestly, I mean, I'll never need another ice chest again in my life because my boy Chris. Yeah. My boy Chris has hooked us up uh, at at Hooked, but their, their their stuff's solid. Like it really is. The good stuff. There's there's no reason for me to say that. Like, like so I have I have a Yeti and I mean it's last me. I thinking about that, I mean I've Yeah. I've probably had that nine years. Yeah. And I never I mean I will be honest with you, I never use it. Yeah, I was about to say, is uh, it worth I, the money? Because usually like if I'm going one of us has a cooler. Correct. And so I've if we're not at my house, hooked one. why would I Why would I bring my, why would I load right. my cooler up to go to your house right. when you have six? Right. Or when we go to the camp or, you know, when we go hunting, somebody's going to bring a cooler. Yeah. And I don't, I don't really have to load mine up, but. Right. I mean, I, I've i had it nine years and I've literally left it outside probably three. I left it. 
it's, 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 it's tried and been, true, man. It's been sitting out. But but the thing about hooked and all these they're all this, they're all made basically the same way. Yeah, they're roto molded yeah. with with a gasket and yeah. they're they're. So when you when you look at cool when I look at when I look at them I'm I mean if they're all basically the same I'll just get the cheaper one. What it's just yeah. a sticker on the front. Yeah, literally, literally that's the difference between Yeti and you know everything else is just the dang sticker. Like I remember when Arctic came out. And I was all about some Arctic. Yeah, just because it looked cool. It looked different. Yeah. And it was cheaper. Mm-hmm. Half, the, you know, half the price. Yeah, same ice, half the price. I don't know, whatever they That's said. That's right. I don't know. If not, I just made that up, and you can't have it. So don't take that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, and, you know, and everybody on my videos, I don't know if you ever go to the comments of it, because I'm addicted mm-hmm. to reading the comments every time we get a new one mm-hmm. on the Hooked Review. It's like, oh, it's made in China. Okay. Okay. So are a lot of things. Basically everything plastic nowadays is China. Look, if we if we did if we put the sanctions on China like we do it on Russia, screw them. Screw we us. Would, we would have no money. Yeah. Like as consumers, I think. Right. We would have no money cuz everything would be overpriced. No, I can't talk politics mainly cuz I don't know anything about it. Yeah. You're I'm, the you're the politic guy. I'm not the politic. I'm the I'm the uh tin foil hat guy. You are a Tim Full Hat guy. What are you on right now? Uh, the, this. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> you want to go down a rabbit hole? <laughs> Let's not go super far down. No, it. Uh, I don't want to lose my job. So right now, I'm kind of on the kick of like gun control. Like, so as soon as the unfortunate and uh, sad shooting in texas like I, i'm not gonna lie like literally like i told you yeah like literally that day it happened in the in mid-afternoon or something by 4 p.m i had already ordered another ar i mean do <laughs> because you because i was like they're gonna and i i don't think anything necessarily is gonna happen but the the whole thing is if you take if the government tries taking one little thing from you you're opening the door for them to keep coming back and taking more little and little by little, they're going to take more from you. So that's my, that's, that's my thing right, right now. I think, I think for the most part, we're good with this round of, um, gun reform. We're definitely going to get kicked off YouTube for talking about it. Yeah. Don't care though. Not monetized. So not monetized. Don't hooked hook coolers. We might need some more coolers. (laughs) Yeah. Or some money (laughs) because we're not going to get paid for this. But uh, I think we're pretty good on this 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 batch of gun reform. But it, like I said, it, the more the more they take, little by little, it'll eventually. And I, well, the big thing about the whole the, my, it's very simple, you know. Second Amendment amendment was there so that you could protect yourself from government. Uh, you know, when the government tries to take too much, basically, or you know, like you have to overtake government. Heaven forbid, you know, something bad happens, but. The answer is not to get rid of the guns. I don't want to talk about this. Yeah. I will give my spiel. You gave yours. Mm-hmm. The answer is not to get rid of them. It's to have a single point of entry at every school, and that's and that's it. With a SRO, boom, done, and that that's the best thing. But anyways, moving on to better things that uh, more outdoorsy and not give me in my feels. Yeah, I could go on teacher. forever. Yeah, I could go on forever. Let's let's recap some of our uh, previous podcasts that people a hundred percent haven't heard because they weren't out there for like a month. What do we talk about? I told my I told my story my uh, duck hunting story. Travis, was it Travis told, told the story about the dog that pooped out the side? That of the- was on the first show here. <laughs> yeah, that was on that was on the first show. Safety's off. That was a great story. That was a great story. Did you I, put that? You put that on YouTube, right? Yeah, YouTube. Yeah. That so was on the safety's episode. Le- yeah. Hey, to find that, you can find the link. Which, which I'm one? not no, I'm not doing all It'll that. It'll be here. If we're looking at me, I can link it up like in the top corner. That'll be the first episode. Yeah. Linked. Not uh, a terrible episode. What about the podcast we talked about? Oh, my, my story my story with Jay. Oh, your gun? Yeah. That's very depressing. You want me to tell, you that, tell that story? Let's hear it. So it's a cold, cold morning. No, I'm kidding. So, um. The worst hunting day ever? No. Oh? No, oh, 100%. What worst? the heck? Ah, uh, let's tell the story. Then I'll let people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll let people try to figure it out. So, uh, we're going hunting in a place that is 
east of Monroe, Louisiana. Known to have a ton of ducks. So that's how far how far from where we're at? About two hours. And you went that night before? So I went the night before, and you know, it's one of those places where like everybody's parked at the gate. You can't get on the, the place until four AM. Mm-hmm. Yada yada yada. Our buddy Jay, he's big into it and I I love him. He invites me every time. He gets there way too early, like days early. He, he was there like the nine a.m. the day before. Yeah, he was day. there like lunch the day. The, no, he was there on the Thursday. Hoping today Saturday, he got there Thursday night, and they parked a truck. Yes, they parked a truck. I think, and went home or something. I can't remember. But anyways, he was there a long time. So they were ro- they parked one truck and yeah. were rotating. Yes, yes. People sitting in it. Yes. So I get there Friday um, evening. And or Friday night, it is pissing rain. They've got tents out and stuff, and they're like cooking underneath the tent. We all hang out, we eat, talk to the game more. Everybody's fired up. You know, it's raining, it's kind of miserable, whatever. But we're just so fired up about the next day. Like this weather's gonna bring some ducks in. And Jay's already spotted us out this super sick spot. Uh, you know, it's back tucked away. It's gonna take a minute for us to get there. It's gonna take some walking, yada yada yada. But we're fired up. So. I sleep in the truck, in the back seat of the truck. Uh, we get loaded up the next morning. It is intense if you've ever been to this place. I'm not going to like say it because I don't want everybody knowing where we go, I guess, But even though a ton of folks go there. But it's insane. It's not safe mm. the way they unload these boats. I'll start there. <laughs> it's not safe at all, and it makes me nervous. Uh, Better bring a life jacket. Oh, 100%. So, anyways, we get in the boat. We are just hauling it. Okay, across the water, across basically what's a creek on the outskirts of where we're hunting. We put the boat up. How many how many boats you think were out there? And y'all were how, y'all were how far in line? We were second actually. Second in yeah. line. Yeah, I don't. Dude, there ain't so no. they got they got y'all got in and got yeah out we got in. Anyway, so uh, Jay, I'm actually in a different boat than my buddy Jay. So I don't know these guys a whole lot. I don't know them well. I know one other guy kind of well, but uh, we get out of the boat and like. I didn't scout. I didn't get there super early. Like I brought and some. You hadn't been to that spot before. I hadn't been to that spot before. I so contributed. You're just kind of following. Yeah, I'm just following. But like I contributed. I contributed. Like I think I brought like food and stuff. So like when we get out the boat, I feel like I gotta. I gotta carry some stuff. I gotta help out. Mm-hmm. All right. So I get my blind backpack. I have at the time. Uh, no, it's a shoulder. It's a shoulder boy. Okay, shoulder bag. It was a. Uh, I remember. That yeah, one. I had a shoulder bag. I get my gun that is in a uh, it's one of the that's in the it's in a gun tote that laps over velcro a soft a soft a, a soft uh, a soft gun case sorry yeah. a soft gun case it velcros over and and then you pull the strap around it velcros again I think mm-hmm. and uh, I'd had it forever so I'm walking through about what little, was that that was a Beretta no my gun yeah it's a Beretta a three hundred so we're walking through the water, walking through the water, and oh, anyway, so I grab some decoys out of the boat. So I am lugged down. I got my bag. I've got my gun. I've got uh, 12, 12 decoys in a slotted bag, and I am, we're wading through the water, like way steep at sometimes, knee deep at others, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm not in great shape, but I am in much better shape than the guy that's in the front. Like The guy leading the charge? Like upsettingly out of shape. Like – it's impressive. We would stop every hundred yards to take a knee. And so like he, he would take a knee. I'm not joking. He smoked a cigarette <laughs> during the walk to the hole. And it's like we're trying to beat people out there. Like, I got to stop smoking a cigarette. You got to stop smoking I can't breathe right now. Yeah. I but let s- me stop yeah. and smoke a cigarette. Yeah, so. so we stop a ton of times. We take a knee. You know, whatever. We are about – we're a few hundred yards from the hole. Like, however, Jay hit some some way. Jay has beaten us there, and he's shining a light. I can see he's a few hundred yards in front. So we take a freaking knee, of course. I go to stand up, and when I stand up, I notice like, oh crap! Like, my this is a lot lighter. So I like look around, look around, look around, and I can see out of the corner of my eye my gun back flapping around. I somewhere. Lost my gun. I am freaking out. Uh, I'm newly married. About oh, yeah. S- about six months married, I think. Um, so purchases aren't just my own anymore. 
Uh, shout out married couples. So I am freaking out. I'm like, she's she's never like she's gonna she's gonna be so pissed. She's never gonna want me to go hunting again. Like I'm gonna have to justify blah blah blah. I'm mm-hmm. freaking out. So it is freezing cold. I take off my jacket. I put all my stuff up. Uh, I think another guy takes my bag, takes the decoys or whatever. I give him my jacket because I know I'm basically about to go swimming. <laughs> and I roll my roll my hoodie up, whatever I've got on underneath there. And I'm just I'm. I've never been here before. We went in the pitch black, and the guy didn't know where he was going, so we were just zigzagging, zigzagging, zigzagging. So I'm basically just following our footprints back. Jay came and found me, great friend, uh, before daylight. We looked for man. I, I mean, I am just soaking wet. I'm putting my arms in the mud trying to find it. We never. And it's not like it's not like a hard bottom. No, 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 no. Like it's, your feet are like falling into it's, mud. It's what we so, call it gumbo. You gumbo mud, and so when it fell, it. I mean, it just. It, there's no telling. There's no telling where it's at. So, I can't find it. I've given up. There's seven of us. Yeah, seven of us. I don't want to ruin it for the other six guys. I don't want to ruin it for everybody else at this place Mm -hmm. because they're going to see me just walking around spooking off all the birds. Mm -hmm. Daylight's coming. You know, I'm like, Jay, let's – you know, we looked for like an hour and a half or a long time. So, what what y'all got out there at four? Yeah. Or y'all left at four? Yes. How yes. long? How long did it take to get out there? A long time. I don't. I honestly don't know. It all. It felt like forever. But we look for it. We don't find it. We get back, and actually, one of the one of the clips that where I catch, the, I'm about to catch the teal that somebody shoots. I'm like, oh, I'm almost caught that. That's on our YouTube oh, intro. Yeah, yeah. Well, I almost caught it because I wasn't holding my gun. <laughs> <laughs> because I lost it. Uh, so, I obviously, I can almost catch it because I've got two hands, and I'm wearing the GoPro. I'm just watching. I'm, like, tucked <laughs> off, like, just watching. Just like, I got this on film, guys. Like, Don't worry. Like my son Hayes going to be next year. Yes. When he's sitting in the blind, just, just hanging out. Just hanging out. So, we hunt. Hunt goes incredible for everybody else. So good that the guys start letting me borrow their guns. Like, here, bud. Like, they feel terrible for me. And, like, at first, I'm like, dude, y'all don't worry about it. Well, like, they shoot their limit. And they're like, no, seriously, bud. Like, we can't. Here, take it. I can't shoot no more. You might as well get you some. Correct. So, we shot, like, we shot our limit, our six or seven man limit that day. That's the, it's the funniest story, really, because, like, we shot a six or seven man man limit with only, like, five or six guns. (laughs) You know, we're missing a gun. So, it was, uh, it sucked. So, the question is, good hunt or bad hunt? Yeah, good hunt or bad hunt is the a legitimate six, question. seven man limit. Maybe but, a good hunt for everybody else, but maybe. it costs you a gun. It but costs, you got a, But you got a nice one from I got, after that. But, I got the same one. Yeah, but it was you got the camo pattern. Yeah, yeah. I got the bottomlands camo. Bottom lands, that's that's nasty. The bottomlands is nasty. It's better. I had a black one. I bought the, I bought that one though. It was like my first gun I bought on my own. Yeah. yeah. Which it's, sucks. So if I got a, I got a, I got an eight seventy that that my wife bought me. Yeah, she is she is not. I wouldn't say she's like anti gun or anything like that. She just she's not a fan. Not a hundred. She's she's like oh you only need one I, and I bought you that one. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. If you're gonna have one gun, it would be the eight seventy. Yeah, the eight seventies could kill anything. A classic. Yes, but I would never like. I don't even. It's an eight seventy. And I don't, I won't take that duck hunting. I will take it squirrel hunting, and that's it. But I won't shoot it any other time. Just, just squirrel hunting. Where well, I can, and I clean knowing it, I you, it that's a great, great thing to do. Yeah, like and I'm is, the one that lost a gun. Yeah, it is just to me. It just means more. You know, it's a sentimental gun to me. That's you're making me feel bad. About that's my the only gun. sentimental gun I have. I guess. You're oh my! Me- da- the, I got a 270, a Ruger, a Ruger. Mark 77. You're just making me feel bad about my gun. M77 Mark II. It was my dad's. It's You're doing it on purpose. That's that's a special gun to me. But You continue to do it. And I will continue to do it. All right. Well, I, I look, I'm not going to lie. When you told me that, I was sick to my stomach. I, yeah, it's everyone was. It's a terrible story to tell. Because everybody goes, man, that could have been me. Could It could be. Well, it's funny it because happened to anybody. it's like one of those things where you start to tell everybody about it. Like, yeah, it happened to me back in. And, like, everybody's got a story. Yeah. But nobody wants to say it because it's embarrassing. Right. It it and was then, my fault, but also the guy that smoked, like, a pack of cigarettes on the way to the hole. Come on, man. <laughs> like, come on. Look at you, Smokey Joe. Yeah, look at you, Smokey Joe. 
All right. I think that's it. We're at 30 minutes. It's pretty not, good. Not a bad, not a bad first not a episode. Get, not a bad first, a second first episode. So, uh, that's right. A second. Our second first episode. First second. Like when ep- I put, I'm going to put episode pound zero zero two parentheses one. I like that. All right. But so on the next, on our next uh, episode. Yep. Because you're talking about old Smokey Joe having to stop and take we a break. have him on? No. Oh, that'd be sick. You know, it's, when you, when you started telling me that, you know what I pictured? Was Kansas 2020. Okay. Was it 2020? Yeah, Kansas yeah. 2020. Yeah. Or was it last year? No, it was 2020. 2019. I don't know. What, what are you talking about there, Smokey Joe? No. I'm thinking, I was picturing Travis walking through that field. <laughs> oh, that'd be another one. We can have him on and talk about it. Travis with no shirt on in Kansas. Yes. In November, late yes. November. Yes. Don't tell the whole story. We'll I won't, but we'll tell that's time. what I pictured in yes. my head, and that's why I started laughing. Yes, classic. All right, so this is when I say the cringy thing. Like, subscribe. What's the other thing you say? Like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and oh, subscribe. We forgot to throw in the comment. Oh, no, but you do need to comment whether or not it you was thought- a good story or a good hunting trip or a bad hunting trip. Yes. Correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what you need to comment below. That's what I'm talking about. And actually- I'm make trying sure you subscribe. to sign off, guys. I'm trying know, to sign but, off. But what I'm going to tell them all right. is make sure you subscribe because we talked about having all them hook coolers. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe. Maybe in the next episode or the episode after that, we might be Give doing a, a, a giveaway. We got some cups we could give away. It's we got some hook cooler stuff. And a hat. We got some stuff to give away. Like, subscribe, comment. Deuces. That's a good one.